Welcome to the garden. Today I want to show you how to wash your soil to either get clay or some really nice sand. And it's really simple. I've just taken a few handfuls of soil and based on where you are and how deep you go you're going to get different compositions. So this orange rich clay soil would be great for extracting clay. But something finer is going to be better for sand. And there's going to be rocks and organic material. But the rocks sink and the sticks float, so it's really easy to wash. So I've taken about a few cups of soil in this container. And I've washed it a few times. And as it settles, the particulate separates based on size. So down at the bottom we've got sand and then a little layer of clay and maybe a fine layer of silt and then just dissolved minerals in the water. And this I'm just going to pour off onto this plant just to use those nutrients. So you want to do this a few times to really get clean sand. Otherwise you're going to just get muddy, muddy stuff. But it settles quite quickly. If we take a close look here, you can see as you stir it up, you're just trying to dissolve the clay into the water. So that all settles really fast. And that's what we're after, all that nice sand. So after a few goes of that, we've ended up with a decent amount of sand. So our soil here is about one-third sand, which is quite a lot. And then the rest is clay and organic material that's finer. And there are some rocks, but I'm using this for gardening to add drainage to plants and such, so the rocks are good. That's all just fine material. But I've also done a huge batch of this, and about one third of the bucket was soil, and then the rest you wash it with water. And what we've come up with is a huge batch of really nice sand. And I've let this all dry out, but this is beautiful stuff. It's probably five or ten pounds of sand just out of our native soil. So really there's quite a lot just lying around in the ground. And if we extracted the clay, we would simply do the same thing, just let it settle a bit longer. So in the ancient world they would have huge evaporating pools and this little vein here, the lightly colored vein, that's your clay. So you pour off your silt after a few hours of settling and then you'll have a nice block of clay resting on top of your sand. But today we're just after the sand so I'm just going to pour that off. And then we're left with our sand that you can pour out and let dry. So that's how I wash my soil to get really nice sand. I hope you give it a grow. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.